hello viewers welcome back to the channel this is gsm exploits if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then share our videos okay so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can bypass an icloud activation locked device or an iphone lock to owner using the gsm agile ram disk tool on windows you know before you can use this tool you have to register the ecid of the device so you can contact me on telegram to register it the link is in the description so contact me and then i'll register it for you then after the registration you can go ahead and use the tool okay so after the, after the registration and then let's say you are going to begin you need to check the ios version of the device you know it has been provided up there what i'm using now is an iphone 7 plus which is on ios 15.7.8 so i'll select the ios which is rating 14 to 15 you understand so after it has been selected then you go to create activation you click on it so when you click on it this window will pop up and then you click on no change serial because you're not going to change the serial number of the device you understand so we are going to we are going to keep the original serial number of the device and then bypass the hello screen okay so the activation fast has been generated successfully and then as you can see it has been generated so to confirm the generation of the files you can go to the backups folder and then check to see if you find the files there yeah, so that is it over there you can see the ecid in the tool is the same as the ecid in the folder so yeah that is it you open it and then see everything all right so you can see the activation files has been generated successfully so what you're going to do next is to boot the device into dfu mode and you know gsm agile ram this has has a built-in dfu helper which is an easy tool to help you boot your device into dfu mode you know sometimes you'll be struggling to enter into dfu mode and then the device will keep restarting 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 but gsm agile ram this has given you a free a free window or a built-in yeah a built-in dfu helper to help you boot into the dfu mode very easily very easily it shows all the instructions in the in the window here yeah. it shows all the instructions needed for you to you know boot into the dfu mode. and it takes only two clicks the first click will help the device automatically enter into recovery mode and then the second click will show a pop-up window which will which will help you enter into the dfu mode okay so with this i'm using an iphone 7 plus so i'll be holding the you'll be holding the power button and then the volume down button as it says in the in the tool so if you hold the volume you click you first click on the start button and then you hold the volume down and then the power button for four seconds and after the four seconds you release the power button and hold only the volume down button for 10 seconds Okay, so after 10 seconds, three or tools will detect your device in DFU mode as well as the as well as GSM Major RAM this tool will also detect your device in DFU mode. Then after you can go ahead and click on the boot on DFU. That is the next step. Okay, so after your device has been detected in DFU mode, that is the next step. You boot on DFU mode. Without booting upon DFU mode, you can't boot RAM disk. Yeah, so you first click. After, after entering into the DFU mode, you first click on the boot on DFU and that, that one will be done in some few seconds. So as you can see here, the device has successfully gone into the on DFU mode and what we are going to do next is to use the boot RAM disk button. Those one will download the RAM disk files for the, actual, for the actual US version of the device. Yeah, so if it's an iPhone 7, it will download an iPhone 7 files based on the current iOS version on the device. So this one is iPhone 7 Plus. So it will download iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 7 Plus, and then the version iOS 15.7.8 RAM disk files.
Okay, so the Ramdex file has finished has finished downloading and then what is loading next is the tool is trying to boot the device into the RAM disk mode and it doesn't take long so we wait for some few seconds or minutes for the device to enter into the RAM disk mode and then we can go ahead Okay, so as you can see the mode, it is in RAM this mode. Yeah, that is good. So what you're going to do next is to open the SSH. Yeah, open SSH. This one will help the tool send send commands to the device. Okay, so open port. Okay, that means it is it has successfully opened the SSH tunnel. Yeah. Alright, so what you're going to do next is to click on Bypass iCloud Lock. Okay, so it, say, it says, do you want to enable airplane mode now? Yeah, so to enable the airplane mode, this one is going to help you. This one is going to help your device not to drink too much of the battery. Because after the bypass, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, the, this one, the, the cellular wouldn't work because it's on hello screen you understand so and it says do you want to disable the baseband to avoid tracking okay yeah and this one also says do you want to block update and reset yeah 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 you have to do this because after if you don't do it and then let's say your device has been successfully bypassed and then maybe you want to update the ios version it it will come back to the icloud lock or if you want to reset the device, it will still come back to the iCloud lock. So it will be good for you to, you know, block it. So that you avoid any... You understand? You don't come back to the iCloud lock or something. So your device has, has been successfully activated. Okay, so we will wait for the device to boot to confirm whether it is done or not. But it is done, yeah. It is done. Okay, so you can see here the device has been bypassed successfully and it says mobile data issue detected. Yeah, because if it's on hello screen, GS Major will only bypass without signal. But if it were to be on a pass, if it, if it were to be on passcode or maybe iPhone disabled or unavailable, I have a video. I have a video, yeah. You can check you can check the channel for the video. Passcode devices and then unavailable and disabled. You can you can browse through the channel and then see the video there. With that one, after bypassing, you can easily after bypassing the signal will work. Yeah, the signal will work. So let's reboot the device and see if it still holds the bypass. Meaning this bypass is untitled. It's untitled. Yeah, it's not it's not a titled bypass. Titled bypass, with titled bypasses, when you reboot the when you reboot the device, it will go back to the iCloud lock. But this one is on Twitter, so after reboot, you can reboot how many times you want. It won't go back to the iCloud lock unless you didn't block, unless you didn't block the OTA and then the over the air update and then the, this one, and then the and then maybe you reset it. That is when it will go back to the iCloud lock. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe.